Hey, fellas. Um, congrats on the win. Uh, what are your big takeaways from this one? Obviously, going into a big, rather rather important rivalry match. Let me take it on you. Go. How you got? Um, you know, I thought we played really tough. Thought we uh, played together, played as a team, played great defense. Um, you know, coaches always talk about boxing out. I think we did a great job of that today. Um, could have been better at times, but I just feel like we have, we took away a lot of good things from this game. For both of you guys, how much did last year's loss in Waco affect your preparation, your mindset to get them here on your court in this big game? Uh, it affected a lot. Uh, we knew what we had to do to prepare to come to this game and win. Uh, like KG said, uh, toughness, I feel like, was a huge part of the game. I feel like we out tough them, and that would cause us to win the game. How about the defense, Q? Uh, that was a big concern uh, for everyone coming out of Las Vegas. And tonight, it seemed like it was an area of strength for you guys. Uh, you know, that was one of the coaches' uh, big points, you know, before the game. And uh, I feel like we took advantage of that. Uh, all, all we did pra at practice when we got back from Vegas is defense. And uh, I feel like we played with a lot of pride on defense, and it showed. How did you apply that against Baylor? What was the key, you think, on the defensive end? Uh, you know, just be mentally and physically ready for anything. Uh, screens, uh, back, any, really anything. Just be mentally and physically ready. How long do you guys celebrate this win before you turn your attention to Saturday? Uh, I feel like we, we're not going to celebrate at all. Uh, I feel like uh, we're going to turn our focus to the next game. Quentin, you had nine assists, zero turnovers on a night when turnovers really troubled the team in, in spots. How were you able to keep your poise, and, and how much do you think that impacted tonight's um, outcome? Uh, I, I take pride to take care of the ball. Uh, I know my, my role on this team is to get my teammates involved, uh, giving the ball when they're in positions to score. So I feel like, you know, take care, take care of the ball, playing with a lot of pride, and, you know, it's going to open up for myself also, and not just my team. Kaiser, piggybacking off of that, um, specifically I think of the last three that you hit in the corner there, how nice is it to have a point guard that's putting the ball right in your hands, right in your shooting pocket, getting ready to shoot? Oh, you know, it's great. Um, he's always, I always has his eyes on a swivel, always seeing the open man, drives, creates, knows when to be aggressive. You know, it's just great having a point guard that likes to get the team involved. Q, what's your perspective on Kaiser and where he is now versus where he was last season this time? It seems like confidence, opportunities, everything is just kind of coming to him at this point. Uh, you know, KG, you know, he was hurt for a little while last year, and I feel like this summer helped, helped him build, uh, build his growth. Uh, I always tell KG to always be ready to shoot at all times because that's what he's good at. And, you know, we practice it. Uh, we, we apply it to the game, and I feel like it shows. Kaiser, this is for you. You know, last year, you guys simply didn't have wins like this on your resume until February, you know, well into conference play. How big do you think it is to get this work in, put it on your resume, and not have to worry about it, really, uh, at this stage of the season? I mean, it's great to get a uh, good win against a great team like Baylor. I think they're going to have a great season. Um, but to get that out the way early, I mean, obviously we have to keep building on it, keep getting more good wins both here and away. But to get that under, uh, under our belt early is a good thing. Good sign.